Kazuo Sejima and Rui Nishizawa of the architectural practice SANA, we invited to design the pavilion in 2009. It was the second time that we appointed an architect from Japan. And interestingly, we began the sort of playing with the Japanese architectural dynasty. There was Ito, of course, who's a grandfather, uh, Sejima and Nishizawa, who were the parents, and latterly, and more recently, Sufujimoto, who was a kind of son. Their pavilion was so restrained and gorgeous. The use of aluminium came back. They had the swooping canopy, which was something that was very important to them. And I think what was so fascinating about the Sana proposal was that it really embraced the parkland setting and this peculiar English weather we have throughout the summer. So when it rained, it was really gorgeous. And when the sun shone, it was really sublime. So there was no perfect moment to see the pavilion. It was fascinating to see it as it merged into the landscape, depending on the weather. And fascinating to see it too, how that reflective material gave back the park to itself and also to us as a way of underscoring how important the context of the pavilion was then and continues to be. It was very, very finely tuned. The poles that supported the canopy, I think there was something like, you know, over 150. And it felt a very light touch on the park. 